Wow! Astronomers have found a cool, Earth-sized planet which relatively close to our solar system and you need to see it. The properties of this newly discovered planet, called Rost 128b, make it a prime target in the search for life elsewhere in the cosmos. At just 11 light years away, it's the second closest exoplanet of its kind to Earth. But the closest one, known as Proxima b, looks to be less hospitable for life. Found in 2016, it orbits the star Proxima Centauri, which is known to be a rather active red dwarf star. This means that powerful eruptions periodically batter Proxima b with harmful radiation. The new planet, Ross 128b, orbits a star that's not dissimilar to Proxima Centauri, it's also a red dwarf, but is significantly less active. Co-discoverer Nicolas Giudolo de Fru from the Geneva Observatory in Switzerland told BBC News, just because Proxima Centauri blasts its planet with strong flares and high-energy radiation, yes, I think Roth 128 is much more comfortable for the development of life. But we still need to know what the atmosphere of Roth 128b is like. Depending on its composition and the reflectivity of its clouds, the exoplanet may be life-friendly with liquid water as the Earth, or sterile like Venus. Lead author of the study describing the find, Xavier Bonfils, from the Institute of Planetology and Astrophysics in Grenoble, IPAG, France, told BBC News, Ross 128 is one of the quietest stars of our sample and, although it is a little further away from us, 2.6x, it makes for an excellent alternative target. The new world was discovered with the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher (HARPS) instrument at the La Silla Observatory in Chile. The work will be published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. Dr. Estudelo de Fru said the find was the result of more than a decade of intensive monitoring using the HARPS instrument. At 1.35 times the mass of our planet, Ross 128b is a bit heftier than Earth and orbits 20 times closer to its star than we orbit the Sun. But because the new planet's parent star is much smaller and dimmer than our yellow Sun, it receives only a little more solar radiation than Earth. Consequently, it is expected to have a surface temperature close to that on our own planet. In the search for habitable worlds beyond our solar system, astronomers generally look for low-mass, rocky and temperate planets like ours. But these are comparatively difficult to detect, most of the 3,500 known exoplanets are so-called hot Jupiters, huge gas giants orbiting very close to their parent stars that don't have suitable conditions for life. Of the smaller contingent of Earth-sized planets, the vast majority orbit red dwarf stars, the most common type in the Milky Way. Because this category of star is dim, it's easier for astronomers to detect low-mass planets when they pass in front, as viewed from Earth, blocking out a portion of the light. Red dwarfs are generally more active than G-type stars like the Sun, but there's underlying variation. At just 4.2 light years away, Proxima b may be the closest exoplanet with a mild temperature. But it receives about 30 times more extreme ultraviolet radiation than Earth. Ross 128b, on the other hand, is the quietest nearby star to host a temperate exoplanet. Astronomers often talk about the habitable zone around a star, it's the range of distances where temperatures allow water, essential for life as we know it, to remain liquid on the surface of a planet. Where the habitable zone lies depends on the star itself, red dwarfs are dimmer and therefore cooler than the sun, so their habitable zones are shifted closer in than the equivalent zone in our solar system. There's still uncertainty about whether Ross 128b is within its star's habitable zone, but scientists say that with temperatures of between minus 60 and plus 20 degrees Celsius, it can be considered temperate. But, as Dr. Estudelo de Fru alluded to, a lot depends on the presence of an atmosphere. An envelope of greenhouse gases can warm the surface and provide sufficient pressure to keep water in the liquid state. Next, 
astronomers want to study the atmospheric composition and chemistry of suitable, nearby worlds like Ross 128b. The detection of gases such as oxygen could potentially point to biological processes. But Nicholas Giudolo de Fru told me, it is still a debate what are the best biomarkers. For now we have deoxygen, O2, and ozone as good biomarkers, others like carbon dioxide or methane can be generated both from geological events or life. For sure we will start looking for these species and water vapor. Several gases have already been detected in the atmospheres of exoplanets, but this line of inquiry is expected to be boosted immeasurably when observatories such as the European Southern Observatory's Extremely Large Telescope ELT, and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope JWST, get going in coming years. When the ELT comes online, at the middle of the next decade, it shall provide both the collecting power and the angular resolution to observe Ross 128b directly. We will be able to see if it has an atmosphere and, eventually, to search for O2, water and CEH4, methane, Dr. Bonfils explained. Each one would be super exciting and an important step toward the evidence of life outside our solar system. Yet, individually, none is a definitive proof for life. There are ways to produce either O2 or CEH4 abiotically. However, for now, we don't know any false positive if all three were to be detected together. Although currently 11 light years from Earth, the new planet's parent star Ross 128 is moving towards us and is expected to overtake Proxima Centauri as our nearest stellar neighbor in just 79,000 years, a heartbeat on cosmic timescales. What's your take on this? Do share your views via comment section below. And like always do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe the channel, I will be back shortly with another news, till then have a great time ahead, bye bye.